Military men and women and prison inmates are coming together for a first of its kind program and a powerful opportunity. The guys on the outside take prison for granted. They never think that they could wind up in prison. We are the example that yes, you can. The inmates, many of them former military themselves, are the ones helping deter service members from a life of crime and imprisonment. Only on CBS 13, Sharin Roger witnessed this program exclusively and shows us how it's changing lives. Now, there's a small percentage of vulnerable active military members on almost every base who are going down the wrong path. I got a look at a pilot program where active military get face time with inmates inside prison walls for a moving and eye opening experience. One by one, they walk through the prison gates of CMF, the California Medical Facility in Vacaville. 14 members of Travis Air Force Base about to embark on an experience they will never forget. When you actually walk through the, the doors with the bars on them and, and see people who have been there for, for decades, it's just a jarring experience. That experience. One that you have never seen before. And. Please, we advise you to take in everything that you see, smell, and witness today. 56-year-old inmate Keith Thompson leads the military assistance program known as MAP. He was one of them. Ten years of active service in the U.S. Army. Thompson even made staff sergeant with dreams of a long career. That dream shattered by one mistake that handed him a life sentence. They never think that they could wind up in prison. We are the example that, yes, you can. One thing that I want you to understand, that you're only one bad choice and one poor decision away from wearing this blue uniform. The program started with 17 carefully vetted inmates sharing personal stories of the consequences of their negative life choices. You don't even get to attend a funeral, and I don't care who dies. This is a reality check. When they come into prison and they see us, we reveal our stories, they go, oh, wait a minute, I don't, I don't want to come in here. I've got a career. I've got all of these things that I could potentially lose, and maybe that'll have an effect. I was a failure as a father. I was a failure as a dad. And those are consequences to our decisions. I've never seen the inside of one. I've never seen how they live, and I've never actually sat down and thought about it. 22-year-old airman Jonathan Roca recently tested for staff sergeant, but after an incident, details of which he didn't wish to share, he lost a stripe and more. Got called in the security forces and lost a rank myself and my possible spot for staff so now I have to wait another 20 months and you get your first actual run in with the law I guess so to speak and you understand that it's not you're not invincible being invincible is a mentality Roca says many young people in the military have some of the biggest problems we see is drug use according to Captain Joseph Cachuela who is also an attorney on base this is a real issue for at least some airmen within Travis Air Force the temptation is all around our airmen uh, to, to make bad decisions and um, they might not necessarily think that they're going to be the ones to do it but when you immerse yourself in that environment it's really easy to say hey I'm just gonna pop this ecstasy pill or I'm just gonna smoke this joint not thinking that they're gonna get caught every time that I come through there I have to strip completely naked walk through a metal detector the program takes the airmen through all aspects of inmate life from working in the yard to even eating in their dining commons you got his okay let me get mine here it's one thing to you know just be in a in a small space uh, just living it's another one to be with somebody that you don't know and knowing that that person um, is in here, you know, for, for a crime. While the experience is temporary, the impact is life-changing. It makes me feel like I need to reflect on myself and I need to make sure, you know, my friends are okay, my family's okay. Seeing people that actually are facing 25 to life and hearing the decisions they made to get them in their situation, it, it just helps me realize that I need to start paying more attention to the decisions I make and the possible outcomes. What if I had, you know, made this decision or that decision and uh, I could be here? 
But the rewards of this program don't stop with just the airmen. A sense of giving back, a sense of self-worth again, a sense of accomplishment. Because if I can change the life of one of the airmen out there, then I've achieved my goal. The airmen get to leave after the seven-hour day. If the pilot program works, this will be the last time they'll spend a day behind bars. It was remarkable to see how rewarding this program was for both sides. And as they continue to monitor the success of the MAP program here, they're hoping to spread it to other cities throughout the country.